Welcome to Brian Beeler's Rounding Them Up. It's going to be January 29th for sale, 1961 through 1979 vans. It's going to be 10K and under. It's going to be multiple subscriber requests on this search right here. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel, drop in the comments below the make and model, and we'll round them up for you. So with that said, be sure to click that little notification bell. You'll know when we drop videos, and as soon as they come out, you'll be able to watch them. The sooner you watch a video, the better chance you have of contacting somebody to buy one of these vehicles. So with all that said, it's going to be Craigslist only. No Facebook Marketplace in this search right here. You heard right. It's Craigslist only. I don't own any of the cars. I don't make up the prices. I just simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. So very first one here is a 1979 Chevrolet G23 quarter ton custom van. He's wanting 750 bucks for this. It's been posted for one day. I got to tell you, I like the old Craigslist platform still for listing and selling cars. It just I like how people can't post a car for over 30 days, so we know everything on this search we're going to look at has been posted within the last 30 days. And you also got a nice little map over here. We can zoom out, in and out, and see exactly where cars are located. It could be New Mexico. You can also click this reply right here. It'll pop up and show you his phone number. You want to email or text? I personally wouldn't go with neither of those. I only call people. But if it's in your area and you're wanting to reach out to them, that's how you do it. Unless there's a phone number down here. And it says send text to. And you had a phone number in the ad description. So check out the pictures. Don't look like a bad van to me for 750 bucks. How can you beat it for parts? So you got 500 bucks and you're on your way up the trailer. New Mexico. That's how we kicked it off. Next one's going to be Oregon. Classic Chevy G1076. That's how you type it in. Oregon area. You'll find it. 900 bucks. So it's got some freshly sprayed water clear on it to make it look nice and shiny. But you can bet it does not shine that much. Got some shag in it. With the hubcaps. Love the chrome grill too. Unpainted front grill. Says letting go. Beloved sleazy Susan. A few things you should know. It needs a key. There's no key. It doesn't start right now. Don't need to go on through the end of the week. Give them the best offer for this van. That's your area. 29 days. You got to dig it. It's not going to be on here, but one more day he'll have to repost it. Check it out. That's your area. It looks like a good deal. It's going to be California here, Los Angeles area. 1977 Dodge van. You'll find it. 1200 bucks. It's been here for 19 hours. It looks like a really clean van. Baby blue color. Push guard fog lights. I dig it. Nice set of trailer wagon wheels on it. 727 with the 360. Old blue. Clean title. Can't get there fast enough to check that out. If you're looking for a van, Los Angeles area, boom. This one's going to be in California as well. Going to be a... Corvair, Greenbrier van, 1700 bucks. Looks like it's all together. Got a dented door, flat tires. The original blue and white, this thing was probably beautiful. Someone painted it gold and white. It's a little rusty around the edges, but it looks complete. That's what you're looking for. Posted one day ago for $1,700. You're right, California. It's going to be a 1968 Volkswagen van. Going to be in Iowa here. 1800 bucks listed three days ago. So it's like a cool project. Definitely rusty around the edges of everything. 1800 bucks. Got a title. It says it's got a clean title. 68 three row seats. It's got the sliding door. Yeah. I'm digging it. He wants $1,800 for it. But it also has to go, so hit him up with an offer. It's been here three days, Iowa area, looking for a Volkswagen 68 van. Thought this was a pickaxe at first. It's a strap holding the door shut. Anyway, 1979 Chevy van project, 2250 on this one. It's going to be California. It's got that patina California paint. Got the rally wheels. I still got a set I need to sell myself, or if I keep them, I might actually keep a set of wheels like this for my car trailer. My round on a muck trailer. This thing don't look bad. That's twenty two fifty. So how's it running drive? Seventy nine four hundred small block Chevy automatic trans factory AC. 
Ran and drove good, went parked. Man, you gotta love that story. But don't run and drove no more. Price is firm. This one's been here 29 days as well, but you can see he updated the ad four days ago. So this will be on here for another, another like, I don't know, 25 days. So we're up to what, 2,500 bucks? It's gonna be Oregon area, 79 Chevy G20, 2,500 bucks. I like the Duke boy wheels on it. I don't like the painted bumpers, but I like the steering wheel. It's got a bed in it. It's kinda of rough around the edges, but it is 2,500 bucks. The ad's not been updated, and it does say or best offer. With a clean title. In 1968 Chevrolet G10, 2500 bucks. That's a cool one. Got a set of those really sweet trailer wheels on this one for sure. Respect to the Blue Sky Comet wheels we got on it. It's a 68 Chevrolet G20, huh? It says he purchased the van with intentions of making it a bike hauler. It's got a nice long printout on it, but it says over here title status is missing for 2500 bucks. And we were in Mississippi on that one. It'll be a 1977 Chevy van here, 2800 bucks. Two weeks ago, Alabama. Got the big extended roof on this one. It says 77 Chevy van runs good, 350 good tires. Two weeks ago, just have to hit them up, Alabama. Nice living in it. Tiny home, there you go. 1967 40 Caroline parts van, nine inch rear end, dual master, 2800 bucks, nine days ago. I've always swore buying one of these vans, any type of van is a great investment, especially if you're a younger guy, gal, don't owe much to your name. This is like a home on wheels. You can't beat that. So I love this one with the big white wall painted tires, the aqua paint. It's a lot like the 67, 65, and 68 Dodge vans I had. I had like three of these things. And one of them had a 318 with an 8 and 3 quarter, 390 gears in it that was absolute blast to drive. So if you never drove one of these, where you're sitting on the wheel well in the front with the steering wheel all coming up crazy, I suggest you try it once. So six cylinders all pull apart in this. And you want to kind of a lot of money for that. 2800 bucks. You tell me, nine days ago, California area looking for one. 67 of Conline. Parts only, too. No title. 1972 Ford Camper Van. 3500 bucks. That said, I'd rather have this. Here is a camper van. How could this be a bad investment? Can't never get thrown out of that, right? Got a propane bottle hanging on the back. Canada on it. it is in Canada Vancouver so there you go one for the Canadians that watch appreciate all you guys too man all you guys from Canada that watch and drop requests I appreciate it runs and drives the gloss is loud and tear has been seen better days so it does say clean title and it looks like you can go camping in it 3500 bucks how are you gonna beat that I don't know how much camper vans go for in Canada, but I guess they're it's just a good idea. Thirty-five hundred bucks is a starting area. Nineteen seventy-six Chevy G twenty van, thirty-five hundred bucks. This is going to be in Oklahoma. This be a long Chevy. It's empty and ready to build as you want. Nice grill, front bumper, engine looks all cleaned up in it. Thirty-five hundred bucks. I mean, you can't get there fast enough. That's what you're looking for. Three quarter ton. Well, I'm digging it. 3500 bucks and it's been here 29 days with no update that thing will be gone soon you'd have to get on it right away and caught the episode that's why you want to click that little bell to be sure you watch episodes when they first come out because that won't be posted but another day and it'll be gone it'll be deleted by craigslist 1966 i say 66 but it's strictly 66 40 kind of line four grand six days ago oregon and you get some earth with it i have no idea we have a 66 40 kind of line. Some fun and follow the Grateful Dead with it. That's what it says. It's a deadhead van. Looks like it's got blue sky wheels on it, but those ones look like they're aluminum and not steel. Looks like I only had one on the back anyway. And it looks like pretty high price. I'm going to have to dig it out. 
on to another. I'd rather have this one. So this one's been out here 25 days. 1969 Dodge A100. Just like the ones I had. This is in Florida. This is like a great deal. Again, if you've never drove one of these with automatic, these things are sweet. This one's got a V8 in it too. So get in. Hold on. You're definitely going to want to hold on. What a cool van. It's got the extended roof on that one, too. 25 days ago. You updated the ad 23 days ago. It'll be on here for like another week. Florida area looking for a really cool 69 Dodge A100 van. We found you one right there. It does have a little bit of rust issues around the roof, but it looks absolutely great. All the way down to the two barrel. 1962 Econoline Plus. 4500 bucks. they're asking for this one. Four days ago, Phoenix, Arizona area. Got some cool aluminum wheels on it. Busted windshield. Opening doors on both sides. Sure now what it looked like from that one photo. That was a different van cut up. It's plus the parts van. You're right. You're getting two of them. 62 has a title. Four days ago, Phoenix, Arizona. We are now up to 4800 bucks. Posted six days ago, 1964. Ford E100 van. This could be Michigan. That wooden back bumper on it. I don't know. Is that cool patina? I guess it only matters to you. Shoot some clear on it. It's done. 4800 or best offer. With a clean title, Michigan. This is going to be back out to California. 69 Ford van. 5900 bucks for up to 28 days ago. Got a really nice set of wheels on this one. Set of aluminum slots that have been polished already. They look absolutely great on there. That's why I can't say it enough. Looking for a cool set of wheels. Pick your up a set of one of those right there. Wet sand and buff till your heart's content. Because you're going to fall in love with them. $2,800. Especially for the money. Clean title here. $5,900 cash. I tell you what. Cool van for $5,900 California area. That might have been cooler than the pick of the day. 1978 Dodge Sportsman Van. 5900 on this one. You want all the seats still in there? It's got all the seats still in it. It's going to be Wyoming. Been on here for 28 days. The ad has not been updated. And it says he has more stuff for sale. Check him out. 1979 Econoline kind of Short Van. Short window van, seven grand. Twelve days ago, baby blue got the aluminum wheels. Pretty decent interior. Not a bad looking van. Seven grand. Twelve days ago, Arizona. We had a 1970 Ford E260 van here. Seventy four hundred dollars on this one. Wow, how you like those color combo right there? Should be Texas. So this is E256 on a three speed and manual daily driver with new tires as well as brakes. Almost completely restored. It's salmon and brown. I'm just saying. On to another. This is going to be in Georgia. If it's a paint you got and it was free, man, hey, do what you do. 1968 A100 Sportsman Van. 7500 bucks. I could be wrong. That thing might sell by tomorrow. $2,200 on this. And it's got a nice set of wheels on it, too. Those don't look bad. Pop-up camper top. 7500 though. All minor rust has been repaired. It's 360 motor, 3-speed automatic. Comes with a clean title and original window sticker. We'll consider trade for a high-end gas golf cart. Well... So what it says, you see it, Georgia, all laid out to live in. We're up to eight grand. 1977 Dodge B200 Shorty Van. This thing's pretty cool. Love the Kragers. Reminds me of the one my dad built when I was a kid. He bought one from the dealership that was completely empty. Cargo van, built it the way he wanted it. And this looks like a perfect canvas to do exactly that. So eight grand. I'm digging it, man. Nice looking van. Nine days ago, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to Arizona. Check one out. Check out that one. So he's got a white or silver roof on it still. 
did paint that nice resale red. 1973 Chevy short van, eight grand, seven days ago. I don't know about the price on this one now. We're getting a little expensive for me sitting in the weeds with only two pictures. Yellow Chevy short van, 307. I don't know. Um, that same price right here. Selling original, it says my original, it's not mine, but that's always the way it got posted. Selling my original 1978 Dodge Boogie van, eight grand, 27 days ago. Got aluminum wheels, again laid out with nothing inside of it. Build it how you want it, 8000 You can see why I'd say I don't know about that one. Seeing this one, the one before that one. Yeah, that's overpriced for sure. But, you know, cash always talks. Give me a VW bus, and it's 8500 bucks. This is going to be in Illinois. Got the pop-up camper on it. So if you're looking for a Volkswagen, let me find one of those. Sure, it's something I'd be interested in for eighty-five hundred bucks, but clean title in hand. If that's your area, green's your color. We found you one, like an olive green. Again, I'm just showing you where they're at, how much they are, and how long they've been posted. It's gonna be California here, nineteen seventy-three Dodge pop-up camper, van runs great, three eighteen auto. That's how you type it in, eighty-five hundred bucks four days ago. So that's how you can get online right now, Craigslist, and find this ad. It's currently listed for sale just like everything we've seen on this ad you can or this episode you can look up all these cars they're all currently listed for sale five hours ago he just updated this ad 318 looking for a big 318 tradesman already got the floor down boom I like this one 1967 Chevy Patriot head van that's what it says 8900 bucks 19 days ago. This reminds me of the Dodge I had. Same color. I had Kragers on mine as well. This is a Chevrolet. Cool steering wheel. Cool van. 8900 cool. I don't know. How bad do you want one? Are you in Wyoming looking for one? Well, he's got one for sale if you are. It's going to be 1966 Ford Econoline Super Van. Nine grand. It's already got those cool slots on there too. Body looks rough, but it looks like it runs and drives. But the body definitely looks rough. 302 in it. It's 9,000 or best offer. I definitely don't like the the paint. The body looks pretty rough for nine grand, but hey, this is nine grand as well. Vintage 1979 Dodge DB 200 camper van. Posted 12 days ago. It's going to be Phoenix, Arizona again. Look at the skyline, man. Beautiful shots, right? Beautiful van. Looking for that big one? You're going to live in it? There's the one you want right there. Build it the way you want. Nine grand. Definitely not going to find nothing like that at the dealership for nine grand. 1979 Dodge, a B300 camper van, nine grand. This one has the pop up. If I'd rather have the pop up or not. This one looks definitely more together, ready to go. Looking for something to hit the road right now with Oklahoma City. It's nine grand fifteen days ago. Compared to some of the stuff we see on our classic car searches, I gotta tell you you're getting some pretty decent looking vans here for the prices. This thing don't look bad at all, man. I'm talking about mint. It might not be perfectly mint, but it's close. On to another. We're at nine grand again. Last one looked a little better, but I'm still liking the wheels we're seeing on them. This one's been all redone inside. California needs paint. Put that custom paint down on there. Take it down to Counts Customs. Have Dane throw some paint on there. Have yourself a $100,000 van. On to another one. It didn't look like a bad deal. You've got almost ten grand to spend. 1969 GMC van, zero rust, super clean, all seats. $9,450 posted one day ago. 69 GMC. It's meant. Looking for something original? Hasn't been all patched up with panels and bondo? We found you one right there for $9,450. It's a great price in that thing. Posted a day ago. Again, it was in Washington State. 1961. So this is always our oldest van right here. Conline pickup, 9,500 bucks. Posted six hours ago. 
So I don't really care for the two-tone paint. But hey, if you don't have enough red to do it all red, and you don't have enough black to do it all black, got it painted. Dig the crayers. Inside look great. Seats look awesome. Six-cylinder. You tell me. Florida area, $9,500. Been posted six hours ago. Clean title. Give me a 1977 Dodge camper van here. $9,500, Wisconsin. 19 hours ago. It's a window van with a pop-up camper. So I'm not sure about having a window van as a camper. But hey, that's me. If you're digging it, there it is. Showed you where it was at. It's Wisconsin. It's $9,500. bucks. it's only been here for 19 hours. So we definitely caught some vans there at the end. that have not been posted all that long in this episode. I love the looks of this one. This is a year I think my dad had. 1977 Dodge Van Shorty, $9,800. This might have been a 78. 27 days ago. Tell me I don't look great, man. $9,800. If you got $9,800 to spend, still lay it out the way you want it. Had floor carpings. The walls were all done. Patina on the van looks great. It's California. It's $9,800. On to another one. It's going to be 1965 Zip Van Studebaker Postal Van Step 6 Zoner Automatic. It's 12 foot rare barn find. I tell you, punch it in. Los Angeles, California area. It's been here for 24 days. What a cool little van. I can assure you, you show up at the car show, not going to be many people there with a van like yours. A Zip Van. Had to show it. It's going to be a vintage van for sale. 1971 Ford Econoline E250 Super Van Window Van. It's going to be Cleveland 20 days ago on this one. It said Cleveland in it. You'd think you'd see a bunch of rust, but it did say $9,900. Not the greatest of photos. And this one's showing you that they did tape it off and paint it. So I'd be skeptical how much body work was done to this Ohio van. But that's me and I live in Ohio. That's why I say that. Here's another 78 Chevy van, 10 grand on this one. It's going to be Washington State again, 10 grand. Only one pitcher, so we're not even going to talk about that one. On to another, I don't like ones with one pitcher. One pitcher ads on Craigslist could be definitely a scam. 1968 Chevrolet G10, 10 grand. I was looking to see if we had one pitcher on this one. These look like pictures of pitchers off a of screen, so that don't look good either. And it looks really rough. I think we've seen better stuff for ten grand. Florida's the area. That's an area you want to check out. All that said, it was a cool search. Combining all these together knocked out a lot of our subscribers' requests. I do appreciate all the subscribers' request stuff. So if you want to be one of those subscribers, it don't cost nothing. It's free to subscribe to YouTube channels if you didn't know. Just hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell. You'll stay notified when we look up searches. All that said, on to my pick of the day. My pick of the day goes to California. So you see it, 1973 Dodge Tradesman Boogie Van, six grand seven days ago. I love the hood scoop. I love the spoilers. The Dayton wide wheels are cool. They look cooler with Craigers for sure. But I dig it. The teardrop back windows. Resitch on the back. All laid out to do what you want on the inside. 360. It says has power brakes, original AC. Got the bubble top, out rear window, full size flares, front and rear spoiler, fat wire wheels, hood scoop, swivel seats, diamond stitch, runs and drives and stops good. You see it, six grand, cash talks. California got the pick. We never can give California the pick. So there you go. California got a pick and it was the van episode with a pretty cool Dodge. Big Dodge. You can lay one outside and stay in it, camp in it. You don't want a shorty. I wouldn't mind having one for uh, doing my flea markets. All that said, cool search. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like always, be good, stay safe, and peace out.